Well, hey guys, I'm back again for part two on the um, May 3rd, 2023 message. Okay, so um, I, did, I claim that Jesus Christ is Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled on the cross. He died on the cross and rose on the third day. He was born of a virgin. And um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Okay, so let me read the second part. Now, this is kind of wacky. Because this is cool. So, okay, for in part one, I said I've never, ever read Enoch before in my life. Okay, so I didn't know anything about that. But I heard that today in this message. And this is when we get into Enoch. And um, so earlier in part one, you know, the Lord shook me. And he had a message. And he said, I, I said reveal me, but I meant to say reveal to them that his patterns of heaven are in Enoch. So I think he wants you guys to go read that and it will discover a lot of truths. Um, like I said, I've never read it before, so this is uh, all new to me. Okay, I'll finish the second part of the message. Radioactive sphere, inclination, beguiled, berated, demonic set up for destruction. Beware, my child, and don't fall for this deception. I warn you because I love you. I am your bread of life. The gate is very narrow. Not many understand the key to my kingdom. It's my gift to you. Now just believe and trust in me and I will save you. Excuse me. No man has seen what is coming. Antarctica will be revealed soon. When the map severs, you will know the truth. The enemy, Satan, has hid the truth of my existence no longer. It will be revealed. Keep looking up. Redemption draws nigh. I love you, your Lord God, and I have spoken. And he gave me almost one, four through six. But I will send a fire into the house of Hazael, which shall devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad. I will also break the gate bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitant from the valley of Avon and the one who holds the scepter from Beth Eden. The people of Syria shall go captive <clears throat> to Ker, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord for three transgressions of Gaza and for four. I will not turn away its punishment because they took captive the whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom. Number 16.3. They gathered together against Moses and Aaron and said to them, You take too much upon yourselves, for all the congregation is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Why then do you exalt yourselves above the assembly of the Lord? Genesis 21, 9. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had borne to Abraham, scoffing. Enoch 44, another thing also I saw respecting splendor, that it rises out of the stars and becomes splendor, being incapable of forsaking them. Enoch 8, number one, moreover, Aziel taught men to make swords, knives, shields, breastplates, the fabrication of mirrors and the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments, the use of paint, the beautifying of the eyebrows, the use of stones of every valuable, valuable and select kind and all sorts of dyes so that the world become, became altered. Two, impiety increased, impiety, I don't know how to say that word, impiety increase. I think that's right. Good job, job. God. <laughs> Fornication multiplied and they transgressed and corrupted all their ways. Amazarach taught all the sorcerers, this is number three, and dividers of roots, number four. Armors taught the solution of sorcery, number five. Barkaya taught the observers of the stars, number six. Akibil taught signs, number seven. Tamil taught astronomy, number eight. <clears throat> Asaradel taught the motion of the moon, Number nine, and men being destroyed cried out and their voice reached to heaven. Job 11, two, should not the multitude of words be answered and should a man full of talk be vindicated? Matthew 19, seven, they said to him, why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce and to put her away? 
Exodus 11, 7. But against none of the children of Israel shall a dog move its tongue against man or beast, that you may know that the Lord does make a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. <laughs> Excuse me. Enoch 12, number one. Before all these things, Enoch was concealed, nor did any one of the sons of men know where he was concealed, where he had been and what had happened. Number two, he was wholly engaged with the holy ones and with the watchers in his days. Number three, I, Enoch, was blessing the great Lord and King of peace. Number four, and behold, the watchers called me Enoch the scribe. Number five, then the Lord said to me, Enoch, scribe of righteousness, go tell the watchers of heaven who have deserted the lofty sky and their holy everlasting station, who have polluted who have been polluted with women. Number six, and have done as the sons of men do by taking to themselves wives and who have been greatly corrupted on the earth. Number seven, that on the earth they shall never obtain peace and remission of sin, for they shall not rejoice in their offspring. They shall behold the slaughter of their beloved, shall lament for the destruction of their sons and shall petition forever, but shall not obtain mercy and peace. Enoch 2, behold, he comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon them and destroy the wicked and reprove all the carnal for everything which the sinful and ungodly have done and committed against him. Quoted by Jude verses 14 and 15. Hmm. Genesis eleven four. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we scat be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. Okay, well, that was it. <laughs> I'm excited because I don't know what any of that means, but um, I'm sure you people out there that have studied Enoch or, you know, the Bible more than me, you may know. Again, I just hear these things. You guys witness how it is. You know, he shook me. I can feel it in my whole body sometimes. And then I just, I just hear the message. You know, God is good, guys. He's awesome. Oh, and I promised I'd sing a song. So <clears throat> I'm going to sing real quick. Um, Trust in Jesus, believe in him with all your heart, and he loves you. Since my live got cut off the other night with the girls, um, Faith Over Fear and um, uh, Jesus Saves, um, the, I figured I would sing it again. So... <clears throat> Oh, Lord, my God, when all in awesome wonder, consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout. The universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul. my little song to the Lord because he's awesome and um <clears throat> thank you guys for letting me sing a little because you know I don't really get to sing much anymore since I don't sing on my worship team anymore so um you're a blessing I love you all and I'm excited guys because you know this is again proof that Jesus is coming soon like really soon okay have a blessed day <laughs>